But I think more fundamentally, you know, we, we always thought that um, we bet on generality and learning, right? So th those were always at the core of the, any technique we would use. That's why we triangulated on reinforcement learning and search and, 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 and deep learning. Could the future of AI be closer than we think? Google CEO just dropped some predictions that are set to push the boundaries of tech. Let's get going. Dennis Asabi, CEO of DeepMind, has expressed concerns about the current surge in AI investment, likening it to the speculative bubbles seen in the crypto industry. He warns that the hype and potential grifting could overshadow genuine scientific progress in AI. This comparison is significant because it comes from a leader in the field known for breakthroughs like AlphaGo and AlphaFold. The parallel suggests that while AI has attracted substantial investment, as well as public interest, similar to the early days of cryptocurrency, there's a risk that this enthusiasm could lead to a bubble. The focus on rapid financial gain might detract from the essential scientific research and development needed to advance AI responsibly and sustainably. Asabis suggests that while AI is making strides in areas like healthcare and scientific discovery, excessive hype could overshadow these genuine advancements. This concern resonates in an industry where the line between substance and spectacle can blur. Well, how do we differentiate between true innovation and mere noise? The AI gold rush has attracted a mix of visionary entrepreneurs and opportunistic players, leading to a landscape where, as Asabis put it, there's a bunch of hype and maybe some grifting. This echoes the crypto craze, where rapid investment led to significant significant financial fallout. Could AI be heading down a similar path? And if so, what are the implications for those who are genuinely pushing the boundaries of what AI can achieve? DeepMind's legacy in AI is substantial, with its AI solving complex problems that have stumped scientists for decades. Yet Hasabus warns that the industry's focus on flashy, generative AI tools might distract from AI's profound scientific potential. The concern is not just about misplaced attention, it's about the potential for a financial bubble to burst, taking down both the unworthy the and the worthy. As venture capital flows into AI startups, the question arises, are we investing in real solutions or just chasing the next big thing? Asabis remains optimistic about AI's capabilities, believing we're only beginning to uncover its full potential. But his cautionary stance invites us to consider the consequences of our enthusiasm. Are we prepared to support sustainable growth in AI, or will we allow hype to steer us off course? Ray Kurzweil, a visionary futurist and Google engineer, has made a bold prediction that could change the very fabric of human existence. He foresees a future where artificial intelligence not only matches, but surpasses human intelligence, potentially within this decade. Kurzweil isn't new to this forecast, as he has been a respected voice in technology circles for his accurate predictions over the years. But what does it mean for us, and how could it alter the course of our lives? Kurzweil's latest book, The Singularity is Nearer, When We Merge with AI, delves into the concept of a technological singularity, a point where AI becomes more intelligent than humans, leading to an intelligence explosion. The idea isn't just science fiction, it's a scenario that some of the brightest minds, including Elon Musk, believe is not only possible but imminent. Could we be in the brink of an AI revolution, and if so, what are the implications? The potential of AI extends beyond mere computational prowess. Kurzweil suggests it could lead to biological transformations in humans, such as reversing the aging process. This concept, known as longevity escape velocity, posits that we could reach a point where science advances enough to extend our lives by more than a year for every year that passes. But is this a realistic expectation or the stuff of dreams? Kurzweil's confidence stems from the exceptional growth in computing power we've witnessed in recent decades, with his track record for foresight having been recognized by tech giants like Larry Page and Bill Gates, his predictions carry weight. But how will society adapt to these changes, and what will it mean for the future of work, healthcare, and our daily lives? In a thought-provoking blog post, Sam Altman, CEO of the AI research lab OpenAI, suggests that the wealth generated by AI could be so vast that it might find a universal basic income for every person on the planet within a decade. This bold claim, part of a larger piece titled Moore's Law for Everything, envisions a future where AI's economic impact is profound enough to provide $13,500 annually to every U.S. adult. Altman, who previously led the influential startup accelerator Y Combinator, believes that AI's capacity to learn and perform tasks will significantly alter the socioeconomic landscape. Despite all this, OpenAI isn't quite at the level of creating the super smart AI that some folks dream about. You know, the kind that can understand everything and do anything? Experts say we're not there yet. However, this perspective has sparked debate. 
Critics argue that such views could mislead the public about AI's trajectory and the potential consequences. Economist Glenn Whale, for instance, expresses concern over the ideology that AI could become dangerously influential as a force. Others in the industry fear a scenario where powerful AI companies could monopolize wealth and influence, potentially leading to a widespread unemployment rate and reliance on UBI funded by these tech giants. The discussion extends to the political realm, where some speculate that governments might be swayed by the promise of substantial tax revenues and the appeal of providing UBI to voters. Some people wonder if this idea is too good to be true or if it's just a way from the rich to gain more power. Beth Singler, an anthropologist specializing in AI and robotics, cautions against depending too heavily on corporate taxes for human welfare. She questions whether this path leads to a utopian society akin to Star Trek or a redundant existence reminiscent of WALL-E. Altman envisions the creation of the American Equity Fund, which would be financed at a 2.5% tax on the market value of large companies and privately held land. This fund would then distribute money and shares to every citizen over 18, empowering them to use these resources as they see fit, whether for education, healthcare, or starting a business. The idea is that as the country prospers, so too with each citizen's share of the fund, promoting economic self-determination and reducing poverty. But how would this reshape the American dream and could it truly offer everyone a fair shot at the life they want? While some, like Matt Clifford of Entrepreneur First, sees Altman's idea as a mainstreaming of once fringe concepts, others express concern. Matt Prewitt of Radical Exchange warns that such a vision could inadvertently create a new class divide, with most of society relegated to a peasant class under the rule of a few powerful AI overlords. Is there a risk that in our quest for economic equality, we might instead entrench inequality? Richard Miller of Miller Klein Associates criticizes the proposal as a form of unchecked capitalism, while Michael Jordan, a UC Berkeley academic, finds the ideas too far removed from practicality to warrant serious consideration. Amidst these critiques, Altman maintains that his proposal is merely a conversation starter, not a fully-fledged policy blueprint. Despite mixed reactions, the conversation about AI's economic impact and the potential for UBI gaining traction, could Altman's proposal ignite a serious debate on the future of wealth distribution in an AI-driven world? And more importantly, are we ready to rethink the very foundations of our economic system in response to the AI revolution? AI is more than just a cool technology. It's driving big changes in our society and economy. As AI reshapes future industries, economies, and societies, the question arises, how do we steer this transformation to benefit everyone? The answer lies in taking proactive steps, fostering collaboration, and embedding ethical considerations into the fabric of AI development and deployment. But what does this mean in practical terms? It means that the governments, businesses, educators, and communities must work together to create policies and systems that support those impacted by AI's disruption. It means ensuring that the wealth and efficiencies generated by AI don't just enrich a select few, but are distributed fairly across society. How can we achieve this balance, and what role will each of us play in this new landscape? Ethical considerations are paramount. As AI becomes more integrated into decision-making processes, we must ensure that it upholds the highest standards of fairness and justice. But how do we encode our values into machines? And who decides what those values are? The chances are significant, but so are the opportunities. AI has the potential to solve some of our most pressing problems, from climate change to healthcare. But can we harness this potential without exacerbating existing inequalities? In this unknown journey, we need to stay alert and flexible. The future isn't set. It depends on the decisions we make today. Are we prepared to choose wisely? The conversation about AI's impact on our world is ongoing, and your voice is crucial. What future do you envision and how will you contribute to shaping it? Share your thoughts and ideas in the comments section below, and make sure you don't forget to hit the like button and share this with your friends, as well as subscribe to the channel for more intriguing content.